What's up everyone and welcome. In this episode, we're going to talk about the latest crypto scam. Now this scam took advantage of people's greed and the success of the Netflix show Squid Game. Now, there were numerous ways in which this was uh, this was marketed, but it's not your typical phishing scam or credential security breach or some ransomware attack that stole people's credentials or maybe their crypto coins via a fault in the crypto exchange or the wallet or the contracts. This is an old-fashioned pump and dump scam that caught every investor in it up in a whirlwind of hope and then crushing pain. Oh, drat these computers. They're so naughty and so complex. I could pinch them. The value of a cryptocurrency inspired by the popular Netflix series Squid Game collapsed less than two weeks after investors could start buying tokens. After jumping more than 310,000% in value as of Sunday night, Squid lost all its value after Twitter flagged the cryptocurrency's account and temporarily restricted it due to suspicious activity. Right before its collapse, the token's value had spiked to $2,856. The token's website and social accounts then, poof, disappeared, along with a white paper describing Squid. The token was made available for purchase on October 20th with the idea that the cryptocurrency would be a pay-to-play token to play an online game inspired by Squid Game, the hit series in which heavily indebted people play deadly versions of children's games to win cash? The game was set to launch in November, and its promoter said winners would be rewarded with more Squid Tokens! But even as the cryptocurrency's price spiked in value last week, many noted that the token could be fraudulent. Investors were having trouble selling their tokens, and the cryptocurrency's white paper was laden with grammatical errors, according to multiple reports. The creators of the cryptocurrency could have made off with as much as $3.6 million after the token's crash, according to Gizmodo. Coin market cap, a cryptocurrency price tracking website, warned potential buyers before the crash of the cryptocurrency's possibly fraudulent nature, telling investors to please, please, please do your own due diligence and exercise caution while trading, and warning them that investors were having trouble selling their tokens. One anonymous squid investor told Coin Market Cap, "I lost all of what I had in this project after investing five thousand dollars into the cryptocurrency." Experts have warned investors to be careful when considering purchasing meme cryptocurrencies based on cultural phenomena, even if it appears the currency is doing well on the market. Remarkably, many such coins rapidly catch investors' fancy, leading to wildly inflated valuations, Cornell University economist Eswar Prasad told the BBC. Naive invest retail investors who get caught up in such speculative frenzies face the risk of substantial losses, and in this case, the substantial loss is everything. So what can we learn? Well, we all know, I think, cryptocurrency is all the rage. People who missed out on Bitcoin are foaming at the mouth to catch the next big cryptocurrency skyrocketing uh, coin. So, of course, it's a prime real estate for sp scammers. There were plenty of red flags with this. It's not just that the documentation or the white paper was riddled with grammatical and spelling errors. People had no idea even how to sell it. There was no clarity. Buy it? Sure. That's easy. But how do you sell? You have to buy some weird marbles to play a game and then try to sell the marbles? Furthermore, there was zero move to the downside for the price. There was no fluctuation. It was only up. Of course, if nobody can sell, then and all you can do is buy. I mean, how can there be any downward movement? There's no sell-to-buy relationship to cause any type of price drop. Then... There's the entire name. There was no indication of the legal right to use the name Squid or any likeness to the Netflix brand. For all intents and purposes, the creators could come out tomorrow and say, you know, we really tried to create something legit, but we received a cease and desist letter from Netflix. So we cashed out and then we let the crypto, the Squid crypto world just burn. Now, there is nothing wrong with gambling, but even with gambling, most people look at the odds in this case it's not crap so you know the odds can't be calculated so easily however you can do as the experts have been warning a little bit of due diligence and get a better feel for what you're getting yourself into and not just invest based on hype and emotions if you don't know how to sell it then there's why would you buy it you know you need to understand both sides of the trade so 
With that, I say thanks again for watching. Don't forget to share and subscribe if you haven't already. And smash the bell if you haven't already. And I'll see you on the next episode. Take care.